Do you think it's different for girls going naked in the big brother house for boys? Uh, okay, it's, uh, it is different. The what? guys, are, the guys are just pretty much open because you know, who plays footy, uh, you go and show with all your teammates naked. You're not really fussed about it, but the girls I think think it awkward. But isn't it funny, like the things that you will reveal about yourself? I mean, we know, for example, about the previous relationships that you've had, and 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 we we turn you really upset in the house, and we turn you under huge stress. That we see this whole emotional side of you, but revealing your body is just an absolute no-no. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can talk about your past and stress you have about the body. That's that's personal. Is it sacred? No. <laughs> but you, you know, when you went into the house, you were saying that you're a bit of a sexual magnet. I think you should have used that time to show us your magnet. Oh, no. I mean, look, I'm not going to show that magnet for nobody. That's just no. For the girlfriend and that's it. I'm not going to go expose you. I, I'd feel uncomfortable. So what's going to happen with the relationship? Are you going to get married? Um, time will tell. We'll see how it all goes, but I'm pretty sure. So how, long you, be good. how long have you been together? Uh, 14 months. Oh, very good, very good. Now, you've got chocolate up interviews and all of that business going on. You're happy being outside in the big world? Uh, I'm happy. It's good to be out there, you know. Be free now, out of the house and do what you want. Good, good. Now I want to, um, as I said goodbye to you, I want to share a joke with you. So let's have a look and good luck with everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. There's three blokes, right? There's a South Australian bloke, there's a Victorian bloke, and there's a Gold Coast boy, right? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Gold Coast boy! <laughs> South Australian bloke goes, mate, I reckon I've got the fucking longest legs in the world. I'm going to fucking go to Guinness Book of Records and see if I've got the longest fucking leg in the world. And the fucking Victorian boy goes, mate, I reckon I've got the fucking longest dreads in the fucking world, right? Gold Coast boy goes, I reckon I've got the fucking smallest dick in the world, right? No. I'm going to go to Guinness Book of Records and see if I can get it. So they all fucking piss off, right? Come back, the SA boy goes, boys, fucking world record holder, longest legs in the world. Everyone goes, hey, variety. <laughs> <laughs> Victorian boy goes, boys, fucking longest threads in the fucking world. Give us the record, what's up? Hey, what up, mate? And the fucking Gold Coast boy goes, does anyone know this cane? <laughs> 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 Didn't Kane take that well? He could see the bullet coming, but he stood and waited. Which is all our four nominees can do on Sunday night as they line up for eviction. So if you think Paul's ready for a fall, call 1902 55 55.